Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to day 177 out on the Freebird account. Picked up 700 energy and I've just noticed that tomorrow I'm going to have a void shard. So I don't know, maybe I'll try to wake up early in the morning tomorrow so I can pick up that final void and open it. Well, we'll still have the 2x because that's in 20 hours. And I think with the with the day um, when the reset happens, I'll get that free void. I might get lucky. Who knows? I've got six voids. You guys know that I've been saving those. I said, Although we do have like a fusion warm up event starting up tomorrow because uh, once that's over, usually that's when they, they'll start the actual fusion, the uh, fragment summon. So it's, not, it's not a fusion, it's a fragment summon. Anyway, um, with all those rewards, you can actually do the fusion. If you're at the stage where I'm at as a player, so close to 180 days in, fusions really are not that difficult except for the summoning part. But the summoning part, I did pick up one sacred shard from the Ultra Emerald Clan boss today. So I'm at a good place. I've got lots of ancient shards. So in two weeks time, I can even open those. Um, yeah, a good point. Even even um, when you reach my point as a free-to-play player, there's so many champions I still have to work on and get to 60, which is going to give me more of a of a difference to my account than anything else, really. So I'll be picking up Sile of the Dregs very soon. I've got champions like Norog. Yoshi, who are still at 50, um, my Duke, the Pierced, is still at 50. I haven't even leveled up my my Arbiter, my Miscreated Monster, my Drexler to full. There's a reason for that. There's no point in, in, in rushing when you're free to play. There's no point in rushing because you don't have infinite resources. Your resources have to be well managed. And that's what I try to do, at least in this video series. Anyway, let's open up the shards. Enough rambling on. Uh, let's get some... Um, Lucky pulls like a cold heart would be crazy. Um, what else? An epic would be so good, like that eight percent. Ah, three more. Neck, at least one epic. Come on, give me one epic that's new. Two more after this. Uh, oh, Amarantin. No, wow, all the all the bad rares. But they don't have another one now. So one left. Wow, talk about all of these I've had before. Pretty sure. So I've got one more shard. I'll open up one ancient. Should I pull three ancients? No, I'll pull three ancients. Just so I'm at a flat 40 on the ancient shards. And then I'll pull the final void in and hopefully... <laughs> Ah, uh, come on! Give me, give me something. I, I want to see something out of that, out of that final void. Let's go. No blue, no blue, no, no rare. Oh, epic. Okay, there we go. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, guys, we've got a brand new champion that I'll be taking to sixty, fully maxing out Silar. Ooh. You guys don't know how great of a champion she is. She's a fantastic epic. Fantastic epic. Just look at this. Place a 30% decrease speed debuff on all enemies for two turns. Decrease the turn meter of all enemies by 40%. 40% decrease in turn meter plus the decrease in speed. She is amazing. Like I'm very close to consider replacing my Umbral with Silar for Arena because of this. The lockdown that Umbral gives is great. But if the enemies have a uh, immunity set on, then Umbral becomes useless. Okay, she's great, but she becomes useless. She only has basically an unkillable on herself. So if any one of the enemies has one immunity set, it basically stops me from having that lockdown mechanic that I have uh, in my team. But Salar here comes in with this decrease speed on enemies, which again with an immunity set it will be ignored. But still. Decrease in territory by 40% on a four turn cooldown when you two books, two book it. She's got a decrease accuracy on her A2 and her A1 is just a basic, but I only need to book her A3, honestly, for me to do anything. Um, Her A2 is okay, but her A3 is where she sh shines. She's a fantastic carry. I'll be definitely getting her to 60. And I'm happy that I did, I did these pulls. I'm happy just because of that Sylar. You guys don't understand how strong she can be. I mean, if I didn't have Miscreated Monster, I would be using her um, in in the Spider. So can I still use her in the Spider? It's like a full four turn cooldown. It's a bit long uh, to be using her instead of my um, my Armiger. 
So look at that. Um, all this energy, I can definitely use it. And we also have an XP boost. I can definitely use those uh, for when the next Fragment Summon starts. I've got five days of XP boost still going. So, yeah. I'm at, I'm at a really good place. So I'll use my remaining energy, uh, level her up a little bit, but I won't be doing a showcase or anything today for her. Um, there's no reason to push her to 60 full masteries just yet. Um, I have my Saddle of the Drakes where I still need to farm a lot of champions. I still need to get... Look at this. Uh, I've got one rank 5 chicken only left, and that's because of this, of the advanced quest. I've got lots of four stars, which I've been collecting through whatever events are popping up, and the Doom Tower. But, um, yeah, everything I'll, I'll need to do is to focus on getting Saddle of the Drake. So, I'll be farming food, mostly. Like, I'm th I'm now thinking of replacing all of these with food champions, because these, they'll get to their max level, but I won't be using them until I need to focus on the Faction Wars. And that's it. Um, if I need to focus on the Faction Wars, that's going to be it. But these... Um, don't really provide anything to my team, but if I had food champions in here, I could just click on, click on these and uh, get some food ready. Leveling up food champions through the inspiring pit is... Okay, so I'm in this Doom Tower stage right now, stage 16. It has this mortal macabre there. It's literally impossible. He he procs his, his, um, his passive, that crazy thing that does, uh, you know, the block revive all the time. He plucks it all, procs it all the time and it's just insane. Um, so it's just going to be me trying to beat this more to Macau basically, but it's going to be impossible guys. I don't even know if he has it unlocked from the first turn or something. Look at that damage on everybody. Oh man, getting wrecked, getting wrecked. Um, I, I can't do much. Can I just need Sal of the Drakes. Like, if I had Sal of the Drakes here, I could try and stun everybody. But here, I mean, this this, ah, this Doom Tower is insane. This hard version of the Doom Tower is insane. So, um, I was, like, recording, but the first two waves were uh, taking a bit too long. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna... But that stage, guys, is insane. So, in terms of progression of the account, um, I think I'll level up. I think I'll level up. Um, the champ that I got today, Sylar, she will be like the best case uh, for me for progression in the Doom Tower plus Sal of the Drakes. So Sylar, Sal of the Drakes, they've got it going. So I uh, haven't touched her yet because we're going to have the Fragment Summon st starting out on Tuesday, I think, um, or maybe Thursday. I'm not sure exactly. It, usually the Fragment Summons or any Summons, uh, Fusion Summons start when the uh, fusion prep ends. So if this starts tomorrow, it the, the fragment summon should start when this ends. And by the way, all the rewards that you're getting now, guys, just save them. They'll go straight to your mailbox. That's why I haven't collected them yet. That's why you see the red dots. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know this tip already from my previous videos, but I just want to say it again, just in case. Ooh, I'm 200 points away. 200 points away from an epic book. I should get that book. 200 points away, it's, um, hmm, I could open up 10 Ancients, and that's 100, yeah, I'll do 10 Ancients, guys, just for you, just for you, and, uh, I'm not too worried about it, I'm still waiting for Raider, come on, one Epic, hmm, no Epic, so 100 points there, uh, I'll try to get the remaining 100 from Mystery Shard, it's gonna be a grind, but I want to get them, um, I want to get that epic book. I didn't realize I was so close. I didn't really realize I was just 100 points away. So I'll be pulling some more mystery shards. So this was the video for today, guys. Pretty short. I did the summons. Uh, I did some progression uh, throughout the day. But I've got all this energy. I'll put this uh, on farming mode. And I'll try to push um, also Tag Team Arena. But honestly, Tag Team Arena, it, it feels a little bit weird after I picked up Drexar. I just don't feel like there's anything that's worth it right here. Except maybe if I reach Silver Arena, where these accessories are really good, okay? These accessories can be really, really good, especially the, re the refresh ones. Uh, they can be clutch sometimes, but for now, it, it seems that it's going to be very tough for me to reach Silver. But I'm going to try and push maybe a bit tonight to see if I can stay to Bronze 3, Bronze 2, and then uh, we'll see how this goes, guys. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.